Hi guys, I'm back with a redo of the Rose tutorial. <coughs> I have a new camera as you can see, which gives us um, better up close detail. It will allow me to show you the brush strokes very closely, very clearly, um, which will help you to create better roses. Uh, I don't always get my roses right. Um, it's more of a personal challenge for me to do a good rose. I've never been asked for them for a design, but they are useful uh, for little girls and crowns and things like that. So I'll show you how I create my rose. Today I'm going to be using a Stargazer from Tag. You can also use the Rose Cake or Tag Iris. This one is Black Iris, I think. Yes. Um, you can pretty much use any cake play around with the things that you've got, see which one makes good looking rose and go from there. So, first off, just going to load my cake. I'm not an expert at loading, I've never been taught how to do it, I just do what I do, what suits for me. Okay, so we start off with our upside down U and then another right side up U right next to it. Now in between strokes I am wiping my brush slightly on a baby wipe and I'm reloading. Now this is the only way I've found to get that crisp white edge that, um, that defines the edges of your petals. So going in for the second now I'm going to start quite high up. I'm going to flick my brush out, trying to keep my dark edge still. And then I'm going to pull it down and pull it across the front. So, pushing my brush out, keeping my dark edge still, pulling it down and across the front. Okay? Wipe my brush and reload. Again on this side, hopefully you can see, starting quite high up. Pushing my brush out, pulling it down and coming in just under that stroke there. So the petals look like they're overlapping. Wipe my brush a little. Reload. I'm starting again quite high. I'm going to flip my brush out again, keeping that bottom bit still, and then start coming down and across. So pushing out, bringing it down, and across the front again. Another reload. I hope you can get this. Starting quite high, pushing out, pulling down, pulling in to the front. Now I'm on to the last set. What I do here is I do what everyone else does in a normal rose. They flick the edge out and as they're coming in they lift up this dark end and they just push the white through. So I'll show you how that goes. Pulling it out, lift up that dark edge and pulling the white through. Wipe my brush and reload. Again I hope you can see this without my brush getting in the way. Pushing out, lifting that edge, and pulling in. Okay. Now, I'm just going to pat the bottom of that because it's still quite wet. And I want to get on with doing my leaves. Oh, cons. Okay. Now for the leaves, I'm using Tag Snake. 
and a three quarter inch flat brush. There's a, there's a couple of ways you can do leaves. You can do them quite with sharp zigzags. I'll do three for you. The first way is to the zigzaggy way. I saw. Yeah, I suppose we could do the zigzaggy one first. Do it over here. I'm starting right up by the rose, and I'm just scissoring in and out, in and out. And as I'm going down, pivoting my brush down towards where the point of the leaf is going to be. So start scissoring, starting to pivot my brush, and then pull away down the bottom. Okay, again, starting very out high. Scissoring back and forth, starting to pivot my brush down towards that point. Then with my green at the top, I give my leaf a spine. That's not the flashiest leaf, obviously. Practice makes perfect. The other way I've found with roses is to do quite a rounded edged leaf. Now, starts off just like the other one, but instead of scissoring, we're going to round, round, round. So start up here, round, 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 pivoting again down to where you think your point of your leaf is going to be. Start over here, round, round. I'm just keeping my eye on the dark outer edge of my brush. I'm only looking at this edge here. As long as I'm pivoting my brush down towards the bottom of the leaf, it doesn't matter what the inside, what my yellow is doing. Again, just with a spine. Okay. The third way to do leaves, and I have to do it away from this flower, or else it's going to look too piled up is to load just a quite a fat brush and for these leaves I'm just making a small line and squashing and as I'm coming away I'm lifting up to a point so again the line squish lift up pull away these are nice for the stem of a rose or basically around the base of any flower. Um, I hope that helped you. I will be adding to the series of tutorials today with a double dip flowers. Um, the secret of double dip flowers is mainly in the loading so I will show you how I load my brushes and how I lay down my petals and hopefully I'll see you for that. Thanks for watching.